Hey guys, it's Wenji. So today I wanted to do a prom life hack slash guide for you guys. It's prom season right now and a lot of you guys are preparing for your first prom. In Australia, we actually call it a formal and the first one was in year 10. I was like 15 and I made so many mistakes. You guys some life hacks and things that you guys will need on the night. I wish I knew when I had my prom like this would have been a lifesaver. So first thing first, I made sure that everything I'm going to be talking about today takes into consideration that your bag will be tiny on the night. Have like an inspector gadget like formal bag. I'm pretty sure your friends will thank you because you'll be like the most prepared person in the world. So let's jump right into it so the first tip i have for you guys is make sure you exfoliate your skin really well the night before and that will stop all the flakes and it'll help your makeup last longer it'll go on like a lot smoother as well so if you guys ever get flakies it's not only because you're not exfoliating your skin so there's like a buildup of dead skin or you're not moisturizing your skin enough so make sure you do like a moisturizing mask exfoliate before the night and your makeup will go on so smoothly. The second thing is to wear a primer. There'll be no room to carry bottles of foundation and stuff on the night. Make sure you wear a makeup primer so your makeup lasts like the whole night. Primers are awesome for one, hiding your pores and two, if you have really really oily skin then something like a mattifying primer will make sure you'll stop the shine during the night so you're not like a reflective person in photos which happens to me like literally all the time the third thing is if you guys must bring like foundation try opting for concealer instead of bringing your foundation for touch-ups and if you have to bring foundation try finding like little bottles like this maybe find like those plastic lip balm container pop a little bit of foundation in that instead of bringing the whole bottle because you ain't got no room for that. If you get oily skin or shiny or you're worried about that, remember to bring some blotting paper as well in your bag. And a great life hack is if you don't have blotting paper and you have a toilet with those toilet seat covers, you can just rip some of that off and use that as blotting paper. Another awesome life hack as well, keep your lips pigmented through eating and things like that. Instead of wearing like a long wearing lipstick which can get really drying, actually just try putting on a lip tattoo before you put on like your lipstick and this works really well with red kind of colors or pinky kind of colors so just get like the Korean lip tattoos or you can make your own I did a DIY on my main channel and I tested it against the store-bought one and it performed really well All you need is food dye and Elmer's glue or PVA glue and it worked really well just do that before you apply your lipstick and that means while you're eating and drinking during the night and your lipstick comes off or your lip gloss comes off you still have like an emergency layer of color underneath so you don't look washed out at any time during the night you can also do that with the eyebrow tattoo as well and that means like if you accidentally like wipe the sweat off before like that your eyebrow stays for that night you won't have photos of you with like half like wiped off eyebrows which happens to me guys especially when you're dancing and you're sweating like everything's gonna come off super easily so make sure like you do those two things beforehand and you'll always look on fleek when I go out for a long night especially like during formal you're having fun might be like a hot night and you're wearing like things like eyeliner and mascara I will get panda eyes no matter what I do, no matter how much I powder, how much I prime, how much I wear waterproof formulations. So in times like that, it's actually really good to carry some makeup remover. Something like this one, like a cleansing water or an eye makeup remover. And in case there's any emergencies, you can just remove your makeup. But instead of carrying like a bottle like this, like even this is like a small travel size bottle. What I like to do is like grab a small like ziplock bag and put some q-tips and some cotton pads in there and once it's in there all you need to do is literally soak them in some makeup remover so do that so instead of going out to the store and buying those like pre-soaked makeup remover stuff that's like super expensive, you can just make your own and it's really flat and it will fit into your purse. And if you guys want, you can also use this wipe as like, if you get like sweaty on your armpits or whatever and you're feeling kind of gross, just grab one of these and wipe down and you'll be fine. So this is like literally multi-purpose and like you must have this. The other thing you guys want to do is bring some band-aids along. Maybe not in a tin like this. I have like two or three band-aids. 
Keep it in your bag in case your heels like rub up against the back of your feet because that really hurts and could really ruin a night. So make sure you have emergency band-aids to wrap up your feet in case your shoes aren't great. I know a lot of us don't really test our shoes out. If you have time, like try walking around in your prom heels like the week before just for a long period to see how they feel and see if they're comfortable. Sometimes if they're really, really painful and they're rubbing, all you need to do is put on a pair of big fluffy socks and wear them around and stretch them out before the night because you don't want to like just wear them on the night and realize like they are the most painfulest thing ever. What you guys want to do is maybe bring along some like pills. What I recommend is to bring some painkillers. So I've got Panadol here. This is what we have. Maybe bring like two or four Panadol in case you get a headache for that night and it ruins the night. You can have some painkillers or maybe it's your period and it's really painful you didn't realize. Make sure you have some painkillers in your bag. The other thing you guys can have is maybe some allergy medication because sometimes you might get like a sudden allergy from something you ate that night or maybe suddenly develop hay fever which happens to my friends. So you have some allergy tablets as well in case anything flares up. Now the other thing I really don't like on a night out, especially if it's a long night out, is getting sweaty or smelly or gross. Like it just really ruins the night and makes me not want to go near people. But make sure you put on an antiperspirant deodorant before you go out on the night so you're reducing your chances of sweating. I went to Sephora and I bought myself like a tiny perfume. You can get like tiny roll-on perfumes or things like that just to keep in your bag and that will mean you can spritz yourself and things like that after you wipe down or touch up during the night but don't spray too much perfume. Overpowering smell is not that great either. Another thing you guys should really bring if you guys are four eye or short sighted like me or need glasses to see is to bring some spare contacts. You know, you don't want to be losing your contacts sometime during the night, which happens. Be blind for the rest of the night. Make sure you bring a spare pair just in case you lose them because you don't want that to ruin your night. The other thing you want to avoid is like suddenly feeling like you have bad breath. And the thing is, you don't know what you're going to be eating on the night. It could have lots of garlic and things like that. And a mint usually doesn't always cover it up. So what I suggest is find like a little container like this. This is a shampoo container from like a hotel or you can just buy like little bottles and fill it up with some mouthwash to bring with you on the night just for emergency like to freshen up your breath after dinner. This is way more powerful and feels so much fresher than just having gum so or mints. So the next emergency item you guys really should think about bringing is some bobby pins. First of all, in case you have an updo, hair starts falling out and you need something to clip it back. The other thing that I think people often overlook that is going to be so useful for you guys is to bring some safety pins because you never know when you're going to have like a wardrobe malfunction or your friend does or something like that or you need to pin something up. So make sure you just bring some safety pins just in case anything happens. Maybe bring the small one and the large one and and that way, if anything happens to your dress, you're not left there like awkwardly with it like out. This final life hack I included in my survival life hacks but I think it's very applicable for this situation and I think will save you from a lot of emergency situations and that is to put some cash in your phone case. So take off your case and I would do this for you now except like this case is like really hard to take off every time I've tried to take it off like it's been impossible but all you need to do is take some cash that you'll need for emergencies whether it's enough to get home in a cab or call someone or something like that you will need it in case you like lose your bag or whatever most of the time we will have our phone on our hands versus the bag I don't know why I will clutch my phone for dear life while losing my bag so have like a $50 note or you know whatever you need fold it up in your phone case no one will see it if you don't have a clear phone case even this one is kind of clear it's hard for people to see so yeah keep it in there for emergencies and no one will know it's there it will always be there in case you get stranded and there's nothing worse than being stranded late at night as a girl like no like I do not want that to happen for you guys so make sure like this is one thing you guys do so that's it. That's all I have for you in terms of life hacks and tips I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a great prom and formal and these tips help you guys be prepared for the night. You guys will have so much fun and look stunning. I hope you guys found this video useful and I will see you guys 
next time tomorrow maybe for a vlog or something like that but i thought i'd just do this guide because it'd be helpful for you guys so i'll see you guys super soon back on this channel and until then bye love you hugs